that's it. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. This is DTM. Let me go ahead and show you my face. Today is DTM versus the Mad Penciler. This is the show that you've been waiting for. DTM versus. That's how we do around here. We love to draw. And it's not so much as a competition as a inspiration. We try to inspire each other. That's what we like to say. But, uh, but of course, who doesn't like to win? <laughs> Welcome everybody. This is DTM. This is a DTM versus show here on Adobe Live. I hope you've been having a great day checking out some of the amazing artists and artwork here on Behance. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, remember to click on the like button and subscribe to Adobe Live. If you want to join us in Behance, go ahead and go to behance.net forward slash Adobe Live and you'll catch this stream right now. And if you're watching this later on the replay, Hey, don't forget to follow Delta Tango Mike and my guest for today, who is also my contender, the Mad Penciler. I'm going to bring him on in a minute. Uh, thank you, Annika, for the link. That is the WaymanHumphrey.com website. We're going to bring him on in a second. Hey, Gareth Bacon, Steve Wade in the house. Oliver, how are you doing today? Please leave a comment in the chat. Let us know where you're watching this from. Because if we if you don't leave a comment in the chat, then we don't know you're there. I, I think you're watching, but I want to know who are you? Where are you? And what kind of art do you like to draw? We're drawing with Adobe Fresco today. And let me go ahead and show you what happened last week. So last week I put up this graphic on Instagram and Twitter asking all of you to vote on your favorite theme. So the Mad Penciler and I, we've known each other for a few years now. I say more than a few, but uh, we like to draw with pencils. And so I challenged the Mad Penciler and he accepted the challenge and gave me the three different types of things that he's willing to battle on. First thing was dinos or dinosaurs. I call it dinos. I don't know what you say. Dinos, dinos. Anyways, dinos. Second idea would have been uh, is a uh, uh, theme is robots. And the third idea was eyeballs. And so I put I, I did my sketch as uh, accepting the challenge and we posted these sketches on Instagram and Twitter and everybody was loving the dinos. Of course, I am also partial to robots and uh, but dinos was uh, was got the most votes throughout the past week. And so I was like, OK, let's get ready to rumble with some dinos. And let me give another shout out to all those uh, you joining us in the chat. Hiya, SLP Price, Uma Corn, and Clever. How are you doing? Steve Worthies is in Atlanta. GA, is that right, Steve? You're in Atlanta? Welcome. Well, we're in ATL also. And Steve says, let the inspiration competition begin. Yes, yes. Annika says, these are all so cool. Yes, they are. And Annika, I'm going to ask you that at the uh, 15... 20 minute mark to set up the poll where folks are going to be able to vote between either my drawing or the Matt Penciler's drawing. All right. So let me go ahead and bring in the Matt Penciler's because I've been talking about him and you guys need to meet him in person. Welcome the Matt Penciler. How are you doing today? What up? What up? What up? One, two, one, two. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, tell us uh, your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Wayman Humphrey, and I am originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And yes, like you said, we are here in Atlanta, Georgia at the moment. About right. to get this battle on. Word, word. Let's get this battle yeah, on. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So tell us about that. Where did I, the, the ideas come from for you when uh, you accepted the art challenge and then you sent me the themes? Where the, Why dinosaurs? Why robots? Why eyeballs? Um dinosaurs in particular uh honestly there was no rhyme or reason but i like dinosaurs because we could do a lot of detail with dinosaurs mm -hmm. and when i draw i like to put a lot of detail uh robots almost the same thing uh just you know robots you can go small you can go big mm -hmm. you got r2 units you got i don't know killer godzilla the <laughs> mech godzilla mecha godzilla yeah <laughs> yeah, um, and, and I sent you some other stuff, but I think it wasn't uh, safe for work. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, I love anatomy. So I think mm -hmm. I had a few eyeballs I had drawn. So mm -hmm. uh, we went with that too. Yes. That's, yeah. 
All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to show us uh, our pages. There's a blank pages right now. And uh, because Dinosaurs was the, got the most votes when I posted the artwork last week, let's go ahead and get started. We have a blank page. We're in Adobe Fresco. And uh, take your time. Show us your process at any given time. If you want to tell us what you're doing, that's cool. As I give a shout out to Misty in the house. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. And uh, all of Ed uh, Oh, Steve Worthy says, all of Eddie's inspiration comes from me, son. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that must be somebody you know. Uh, hey, when... so, so whoever is moderating, we got to make sure we kick that dude out. He don't need to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, there you go. I've known Steve for a long time, man. Okay, he corrected good, good, himself. Good, he says, good, "Excuse dude. me, the Mad Penciler." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. I'm glad you have your fans coming and joining you, man. And, yeah, uh, yeah, man. Cheering for you, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So tell us about your process. What are you so, doing now? What's happening? So right here? now, I am. Um, I think I'm a try and make the first of all i'm gonna make this uh pencil a little darker so y'all can see it a little better but um i always have some reference pulled up and i have another screen off to the side that i have my reference on and i typically just block stuff out um and i'm sure because that's kind of what you're doing right now right yeah um yeah i, I block everything out kind of I don't know, squint a little bit and make sure I got stuff where it's supposed to fall and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, so you're blocking out some, uh, some shapes and stuff. And, uh, it looks like a snout. Very, or a very, very, yeah. Very big shapes too. I don't want to go in and, and start, you know, with any type of detail, mm -hmm. um, until I have something that I'm happy with. Uh, cause it, all this could change, right? Um, I guess the cool thing about uh, digital art is that you can undo a lot of it. Um, mm -hmm. And also you can resize stuff to make it fit where it needs to fit. Um, you know, me and you are more, uh, well, we love traditional mediums, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, real sketchbooks and real pencils and <laughs> not that this stuff isn't real, but uh you know what I'm saying? A traditional sketch and you mm -hmm. hear the actual pencil hit the pad. So, um, cause even with this right now, you know, I can, uh, well, let's say I'm done with that. Uh, so when you're drawing in traditional media, you sketch big, you do big lines, you try to get some kind of a path laid out in front of you. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's deselect that. Welcome, Jack. Yeah. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we are. Jack is asking, what did I just walk into? <laughs> into the DTM versus your favorite artist. And if the Mad Penciler is not the, your favorite artist, you need to check him out. Check the links in the description of the video. And since I'm mentioning the description of the video, there is a link to download the sketches because I have made my sketches available and I made the Mad Penciler sketches available for you to download and try your hand at sketching and drawing the characters that we are working on right now. And we're going to show off the Mad Penciler's uh, sketch right now as I check other uh, chat info in the chats. Thank you, Annika. Uh, everybody give Annika a hand for uh, hey. <laughs> keeping the chat rolling it's got the download the sketches link thank you so much another thing i want to ask you the mad penciler is uh what's up with the portrait mode on your ipad messing up my whole design no <laughs> of <this> uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> talking about traditional boo and this is this is traditional dan I, i'm not sure uh what the problem is here but this you don't draw we when we grew up you drew naturally in a uh portrait mode not landscaping mm. this you you have uh broken the rules you have 
cause chaos in the galaxy. Uh, <laughs> Causing chaos in the galaxy. <laughs> in, in, in the galaxy. Man. Oh, my gosh. Like, I don't believe you. Well, I do know that growing up, um, I, I didn't know about sketchbooks. When I got older, uh, uh, I was in the Marine Corps. You was in the military, too, in the past, mm-hmm. in the Army. I was in the Marine Corps. And uh, a sergeant one day walked up to me and handed me a black book. And he said, put your drawings right here. And so mm. uh, that was my first time ever uh, seeing a black book, understanding what a black book is or why it exists. Of course, I didn't. I did I, growing up I did not understand the art world and I didn't know that it existed so I was just kind of doing my thing. And so ever since then I've kept that that black book it was 1991 it still has the date on it. And uh and so yes I understand that most black books are uh, in portrait mode and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so now that we're working with digital is uh I like to flip my iPad in landscape mode. Um maybe but why? Beca- Maybe because of the way monitors are, you know, we got into a point where monitors in um, tablets and so on, either in most TV and content is in landscape mode. However, I know that it's also that portrait mode is also very popular when it comes to digital content. But when it comes to the black book and I have a black book here and I'm going to show off this black book. I'm going to switch. Let me see if I can do this right Yeah, There it is. This is a, a sketchbook right here that I got from Amazon and you can find it yourself is I draw. It's a cover made by the mad penciler and in yeah. the inside is just uh, blank pages for you to draw with. And so here's an example of a black book. And, uh, and so of course you draw in portrait mode because when you open the book, but I guess, but some people could still do the landscape mode when it comes to uh, even, work. yeah, even with the sketchbook, they could, you know, turn the page mm-hmm. uh, yeah. sideways. Right. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I'm just more naturally comfortable, uh, in portrait you know, drawn mode. portrait yeah yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah and uh and so i get it i get it uh in the chat we have fabio says uh fabio says i've always drawn with pencils and i'm learning digital now having a hard time so far and thank you bacon bits bacon bits says keep at it bro listen fabio and anyone out there listen watching this right now it is um you you don't let your brain Get, don't block your brain. Don't block your creativity by thinking that traditional and digital are different. Um, so different that you have to change how you create because that is the same difference between pencils and inks, inks and markers, markers and paintbrushes. There's always a, a different medium, a different technique, a different way how you hold your pencil that you have to practice. It's just about some practice. So please jump in there, get in. If we're using Adobe Fresco, the Matt Penciler is mat- mapping out his dinosaur. And uh, so, go ahead. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, and so I kind of have something blocked out of what I'm happy with. Um, and so I'll add another layer. Mm-hmm. Um, We'll turn down the uh, opacity, I right, think, right. on this layer, if I could find it. Because um, I don't use Fresco enough mm-hmm. to remember where some of this stuff is. So, But anyway, I would turn down the opacity and right. then go back over that layer gotcha. and then start hitting those details and yep. stuff. Um, so the second icon on the top right, there's uh, layers and then there's a second icon. And when you oh, click yeah, on the second right. icon, there, there it is. is. Down and I turn yeah, down the yeah. opacity. And on that second to last icon on the bottom right corner, click on it because it's open right now. All the way at the bottom right corner. There it is. That's it. That's the animation. Yeah. And then that's the ruler. Uh-huh. Oh, you can turn right, right, yep. right. Turn okay, off the, okay. a- hit that animation button again, icon. And it's going to, there you go. Now it's out the way. Gotcha. Yeah, you don't need that right now. We're not doing animation. But uh, it's always cool to know that in Fresco, you can do animations. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I get excited when it comes to creativity and trying different things. But, yeah. Um, so so now, so what the Matt Penciler said is that you select your layer, turn down the opacity, boom, start working on the next layer. And that's kind of how we do sketching in the traditional world. And back to the traditional, Clever says, 
I I draw sideways in my little book, but mostly portrait. Thank, Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> clever. Yep, clever. <laughs> <laughs> and and Annika says, that's interesting. I grew up drawing on landscape sketchbooks along with collaging and scrapbooking. And let me tell you, that's what I realized later on. And right now, I own like over 100 sketchbooks. And they're all different sizes and different orientations. And that's what's super cool about sketchbooks that uh, that – you can find a sketchbook for every type of uh, medium, but also any type of preference, whether you like landscape or portrait mode. And then there's the square ones, you know, that mm -hmm. are eight by eight, mm -hmm. six by six. So, no, that's super cool. And uh, what uh, when when it comes to the type of um, sketchbook that you can find now back to uh, the layers. And traditional media, what we do and what I do most of the time is draw very light. And so right now here I have my dinosaur or, or AKA Godzilla because I'm drawing Godzilla. That's the dinosaur I'm drawing. <laughs> and so there, there is some light sketching that you do. And then there's some strong sketching later on. And uh, so that you can get your your uh shapes or your your lines you you go ahead and finalize your line and say that's the line that i want to go with but in digital what you can do is like the map pencil showed earlier you turn down the opacity on one layer that's rough layer and then mm -hmm. create a new layer boom and then the second layer that you created that's where you start cleaning up your lines and making it stronger and uh and and choosing and selecting which line is going to stay and how you're gonna do it. And then the traditional way, what we used to do also, and uh, by the way, the Matt Penciler is a, a full-time tattoo artist, is that in Tattoo World, we also use uh, transparency paper. And that's kind of like using layers. Oh yeah, in, in <laughs> animation, we call oh. it onion skin. Right, there you go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you're already used to, and this is talking to everybody, including Fabio, you're already used to these techniques. You just got to don't let your brain tell you that this is different, that you're doing something different. That this is not your normal thing that you're good at anymore. No, 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 no. Go in there. Give it a go and uh, work on your artwork and just think about it as a different medium, like going between pencils and markers, pencils and uh and ink pens, all of that, all of that different stuff, or scrapbooking and collaging. Collages are cool. There we go. So right now I'm just kind of rough sketching. I like to do the the shapes real quick and then go in with some roughs, rough rough pencils. I've also gotten used to where I will do a sketch, very rough sketch, and kind of start shading some things, and then. Once I shade in something about that uh, with that shape or sketch, I go in with the eraser and I can start detailing some things out of it. And I say, oh, yeah, this part's supposed to be open, going with the eraser, and then boom, and just start adding uh, things when it comes to digital. Because in digital, we have the option of the undo. Undo. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the undo button. <laughs> Control Z. <Jeez. laughs> Man, I'm telling you, that's a lifesaver right there, mm -hmm. yo. Oh, yeah. Uh, Clever says, who listens to their brain? You, you should not listen to your brain when it comes to creativity. <laughs> you know, uh, many years ago, I was uh, visiting Vegas. We was hanging out, my wife and I, and I did the call on social media. Like, hey, who's in Vegas? And so a couple artists came out to see us, and we hung out with some artists. And, uh, and so this artist was telling us about how they started to mess around with um, uh, watercolors, you know, and, uh, and so, so they're telling us about their experiments and how it's going and so on. And I was thinking, like, why would you spend your money on watercolors if you're not good at watercolors? But then you forget, like, that's the point, right? To experiment and explore and, get, and try something yeah yes yeah. yes yes and so you know ever since then i didn't even say nothing to him about why watercolors i was just thinking it and and it stuck with me that you know why would i um 
wait to get good at something to spend money on a particular medium before i experiment it when that's the whole point of creativity and art is go ahead and experiment see what happens see what comes out and uh, before you know it yeah then you are a big time pro and you're an adobe live (laughs) 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 boom there goes my godzilla right here Ah, so i have one layer you're on your second layer now going in with some details looks like yeah just a little bit um it's still rough sketchy still figuring stuff out um honestly when i i do digital um i typically stay on one layer um Mm. but i'll draw light enough so even you know us doing all these different layers i will just draw light enough to go back over top of it because uh if if you follow me for uh, any amount of time you'll see i love the sketchy lines still under there Mm. um i i never want to get rid of that stuff um Mm. i feel like that's uh good energy on Mm -hmm. a paper Mm. so yeah there's something about the that looseness in Mm -hmm. a sketch yeah yeah I, i i feel you i feel you Yes. And so and so sometimes and because in traditional, you know, I mean, you can sit there and erase things. But most of the time you you stay on the same in one sheet of paper and you start very light, very Mm -hmm. loose. Then you start then you you know, you go ahead and add pressure to your pencil to get that the next uh, uh, line in and choose a line. And uh, but there's something about the looseness of the sketch part that is like yeah you don't want to get rid of that and then when you ink it over you kind of kind of lose some of that you lose that energy mm-hmm. or the sketchiness of mm-hmm. it you know yep. um i i i forget who was saying it earlier but uh i, I had a difficult time transitioning to uh digital too um i i, I didn't like the way the pencil uh went across the glass you know, because heck, mm. back then it wasn't iPads that was really uh, uh, helpful to the artist. It was it was what's the screen that you got upstairs? Uh, uh-huh. The wake, uh, the Wacom, the w- Wacom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were kind of leading as far as like you know digital work and uh, all that stuff. But you know now the iPad is very art friendly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just getting used to the the pencil sliding on the screen and trying to make stuff stick where it was supposed to stick, it was it was difficult, man. Yeah, very. Yeah, because you're used to the drag when you're drawing with paper. On mm-hmm. when pencil, you have a little drag, and, and, and I love uh, cold pressed paper, so it's toothier or, or yeah, thicker, yeah. and so you don't have to press as hard to get that line in there. And uh, mm-hmm. and so so you get used to that drawing very lightly and low pressure, low effort, and boom, there it is. And and when you when you jump into digital, you have that glass screen. We're on iPads right now. Apple Pencil, the the pencil, the Apple Pencil has that. Uh, it's not so. It's not a hard plastic but it's pretty stiff and so now you have to also control the speed of your hand as it goes across the screen and man that that's a little extra stress right there (laughs) yeah yeah so i know what you're saying Mm -hmm. uh, fabio is that yes it takes a while to get used to it and uh, fabio says i think the texture of the pencil and paper is hard to get on the screen yes it is and that's why you have to look at it as well i'm going from pencils and paper to inks and paper and then there's all types of ink pens and brush pens so the the way the drag of the texture of the paper is will change depending on the utensil you're using and then i think mm -hmm, some of those uh uh, companies you know have heard that too so um, you can get you know tips for the pencil and then different overlays for the screen itself to mm-hmm. make it feel draggy mm-hmm. if that is is that a word draggy <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah to make uh, that te- uh, feel the um the uh, uh the not draggy so you, i had a word i was using a word i forgot so you could feel the resistance <laughs> that resistance of, yeah uh-huh 
we'll, we'll use that word the sure. resistance of uh how what what you know uh traditional artists are used to mm -hmm. the drag the drag mm -hmm. you, draggy you, mm -hmm. drag it's just the drag and uh, um and, the, and so that there's a tooth of the paper that you 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 kind of get used to which is one of the reasons why i don't like drawing on copier paper it's the cheapest paper which is available but it's cool it's cool to to sketch and, and be uh experimental but mm -hmm. when i really want to full control my pencil and the number two pencil any number two pencil will do but i need you know toothier uh paper so there it is some robust paper mm -hmm. yeah yeah and i love i love watercolor paper like oh, oh and bristol and bristol yeah yes yeah. it's the best mm -hmm. um uh bacon bit says can't control v on a on on a uh on a person <laughs> <laughs> oh, on a traditional drawing you cannot and i also got get caught doing that when i'm drawing traditional that mm -hmm. you want to pinch and zoom yeah yeah your, your, your <laughs> finger mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd be like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm like, why? I can't see this. <laughs> Let me zoom in. <laughs> Boom. So what I'm doing right now is just using the same layer and uh, just kind of playing around with this idea. And I have different um, sketching techniques. I have the light sketching, which is, a you know, just a smooth line with a lot of without much pressure. Then I have a stronger line where I can go ahead and make it darker by just applying more pressure and then this is the line that i really want to keep and then from there i can also this is what i like about the apple pencil is that you can tilt it and get that that a thicker thickness yeah wider yeah. yes and then just draw lightly with it and boom next thing yeah. you know you got some some shading going on and then uh without tilting when you straight up and down you can also l draw lightly and I love cross hatching. I love cross hatching. When when you draw with pencils, you have the the uh, ability to get different textures depending on how you use the pencil. Whether the pencil is very sharp or the as a, as the tip gets dull and round, you're able to use that pencil to your advantage. Mm -hmm. Boom! Here we go. And Annika says, uh, "Guilty on." L undo on paper yes you want to undo on paper you double tap in with your fingers on that piece of paper you just gotta roll with it <laughs> and when doing tattoos how do you deal with <laughs> you don't undo you know there is <laughs> you you hopefully you don't say oops and and the client hears you but uh yeah there's no undo on tattoos bro you know <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah there's no undo. You just roll with it and try to find a way to make that fit. Like, well, that's going to stay in there. Uh, Annika says, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> that is a mark. Correct. That is a mark. Boom. So what about dinosaurs is it that you like? Um, the scales, the, the oh. detail of them, you know. Uh, and just i don't know i mean dinosaurs are huge man yeah i mean what other animal was this big ever mm-hmm mm -hmm. you know uh and, and we got miniature versions of it the chicken yeah yeah <laughs> the, ch <laughs> the bird yeah the, the bird, bird. Uh -huh. Accor according to my man on jurassic park you know we got uh, iguanas, lizards. Boom. Um, uh, this is why I have always been afraid of tattoos, says Annika. You just got to make that jump, Annika. You just got to jump in and say, fine, let's, let's see what happens. Let's roll yeah. with it. <laughs> but but you all, just like art, you want to find the, the artists that, that do the kind of artwork you like and uh follow them and do some research on them yeah yeah exactly you want to see their work and uh follow them for a while so they can get really comfortable to talk to mm -hmm. them about your artwork 
and uh, and stuff. Now, if you happen to be on a vacation and you're at the beach and there's a tattoo shop at the beach and you're like, ah, let's get a tattoo. Well, you know, you're going to get what you're going to get. And that's just part of the memories of the vacation. <laughs> 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 don't listen to it. you don't want the memories of that <laughs> no you don't want, like what's this tattoo mean annika like that right. that tattoo means margaritas right oh, margaritas <laughs> at the beach <laughs> five says yeah me too yeah you know that's how it is anybody watching this on the youtube leave a comment let us know that you're there we want to know who you are and uh, give you a shout out right now i'm drawing my teeth for the uh, my godzilla and uh and so my technique is like what the matt penciler said just take your time erasing details you don't want adding extra details to the parts you do want I'm not doing too many different layers right now uh but the matt penciler look at that dinosaur oh my gosh look at those teeth i, I can i can feel that that dinosaur talking Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he has a uh, English accent. So, <laughs> so, and, and kind of like we keep talking about as far as the different layers. So, like, if I turn this layer off, you can see, you know, what I got under there. Mm -hmm. And if I turn this one back on, um, I'll typically just stay here from the rest of the way out. You mm -hmm. know, uh, with his jaw it wasn't wide enough and this is another thing i really like about um uh digital right mm -hmm. i can take the lasso tool and just chop his <laughs> bottom jaw off <laughs> transform it like if i need to make it bigger or smaller uh -huh. like that uh -huh. um yeah and then you know kind of fit it back in there I, I don't need to do that right now but i, I love doing that um with digital on you know, traditional, it'd be like, oh, man, I got to get the eraser now and I got to start over or, you know, draw even a little lighter so you can't mm -hmm. see the messed up lines um, and then just fix it. But, mm -hmm. yeah, digital is, is different, man, very different. And so I'll zoom in a lot, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and so now you can see the little tooth that's not dark. And then I'll just kind of not do that. Uh, cancel the lasso. Let me get on my pencil. And then I'll just kind of get somewhere in between where I want that line to be. Mm -hmm. uh, and then kind of like you said, I'll do some shading too, you know, just a little bit, just to start like, all right, this is where I feel like it should be. The top you know, two. Uh -huh. Yeah, according uh -huh. to like, you know, light source and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and heck, we hadn't even talked about light source, but... Mm -hmm. um, shadows where so the shadows go shadows. versus yeah uh, yep. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that's kind of what i do and then i'll just play around here for a little bit um i'm not the fastest artist so some stuff will take me a minute to do especially when it's a lot of detail like this mm -hmm. um I, i'll be here for a while um, yeah because i love detail i want to see the detail i want y'all to see the detail or whoever mm -hmm. i'm showing this to um, and then that's how I could charge so much too, because <laughs> <laughs> and uh and what's crazy about digital art is that when you're traditional once you're you're going in on the details, you run out of room to do any more like that's it. The pencil is as thick as uh, thin as it's gonna get um of course, there's the all the different um mechanical pencil sizes. But but you you run out of room like that's it that's all I can do here. But when it comes to mm -hmm. digital, you pinch and zoom and you can zoom in. Oh and, man, uh, and keep going. Yeah, and keep going. Mm -hmm. You ever see them videos where the dude they zoom in and they keep zooming in and they keep zooming in and you see like mm -hmm. little <laughs> a whole nother scene back there. A whole nother scene yeah. back there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I, I do think that's an uh, an app that is making that stuff happen, but it, it's almost in that that mm -hmm. vein right mm -hmm. like you were we could you know i could keep going look at that hey look there you now, go and if oh. i want to add a little something here or whatever mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and then zoom back out and it's yep. like oh that's that extra little bit of detail that's mm -hmm. in there so yeah yeah clever says enhance 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
What's up, Danette? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you stopping by. Annika says, I know that app. Yes, and there's several. There's a couple of apps out there where you can it's in, it have an infinite canvas. And mm -hmm. man, oh my gosh. And But it, yeah, it, that's the it's idea. It's really cool, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's really <laughs> great. You know, but that's it. And, and that's where you get lost in the details because you can zoom back in, zoom in, enhance, enhance. And then, uh, and you know, when we look at traditional media, you draw it at a particular size, paint it a particular size, and that's it. Uh, but when you draw digital, and I have done this where I drew the digital version, an Adobe Illustrator of a illustration that I wanted, and then I went to the printer and got it printed really big. I got a mural here in Atlanta that's uh, 26 feet long. And the one you tall. did on the belt line? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what you want to do when you're working on something like that is don't think that because when you're looking at the drawing from afar, it's like, eh, well, that's enough detail for there. Because when you print it big and go large with it, now you're standing in front of that print and you see a gap. You're like, ah, I, I don't want that. I don't want people thinking, ah, Dan cheated. He just lit this spark. You know, he just... <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. I want to go hard with my artwork. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Now, it's, here. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, we're going to move on to something else, but you can say what uh, you need to say. No, I was going to say I chose this position, too. Um, so a as an artist, I always like to challenge myself um, to get better and to, you know, uh, work on things that I know I'm weak at. You know, mm. um, and so because this this dinosaur is kind of at a running toward us angle, um, it forces me to practice uh, perspective, and and that's mm. always a hard thing for people to to grasp. Um, mm -hmm. And so what I what you can do, and, and I can't remember where I got this from, but I'm going to put another layer up here just real quick. Mm -hmm. and show you guys something. So I'm on this layer. Um, what what you can do is do a circle, like just a, or an oval, right? Mm -hmm. And then just keep dragging it, but making it smaller. Um, and so now if we put the connecting lines here, there's your perspective, if that makes mm -hmm. sense, right? Um, so, uh, if this is a hand or if this is an, an arm mm -hmm. or something, you know what I'm saying? And the head is kind of back here. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll, I'll just draw a little guy, uh, with his mouth, you know, his neck mm -hmm. and then his shoulders. And then we got the arm, the bicep, the forearm, and then the hand. It, it just helps me understand what's needed to get pushed back and what's facing us. So mm -hmm. looking at this thing here, if we turn this one off and I go back to the dyno. Um, this is almost what I'm doing here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so we have the circle here and then actually let's do it in red. We got the circle here, mm -hmm. but if I if I make it smaller, there you we go. can see that perspective, right? So mm -hmm. um, that's all. I that's to really see. good. Yeah, and so the head is going to look larger than the body because of how closer the head is compared to the right. body, where in right. the reality, the body is big, kind of like the way uh, stars look in space and the planets and so on. Mm -hmm. For the far, yep. far yep. away they are, the smaller they look, even though they're huge. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're huge. They're big. That's really cool. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> They're big, Dan. Big. <laughs> so we're getting ready to start voting in the next few minutes. Uh the voting info will begin and uh forty minutes already. Already, bro. Just like that is going. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we want to start the voting like a little bit uh, after 40, the 40 minute mark so that uh, we have 10 Jeez. minutes to uh, at least 10 minutes to uh, get our um, 
uh, get our votes in in a few more minutes at the end of the stream. So the the link is already there. Go ahead and um, start uh, showing us the next uh, layers, Wayman, if you like. I, I don't have any more. You layers. don't have any more layers. There's no layers. There's just the final, final, final art. That's you want right. to see the final join? All right. So if I turn this one off, we'll turn that off. Mm -hmm. And Melissa says, awesome tip. You can also use perspective grids and fresco. Yes. Yes, you can. There it goes. Boom. Look at that. Look at that dinosaur. Oh, my gosh. Right. And what? <laughs> <laughs> his name is jeffrey jeffrey um, let me turn it off yeah jeffrey is his name tell us about jeffrey tell us a little bit about jeffrey um like i said i i imagined him with a uh english accent mm -hmm. and i put a monocle on him and and he's drinking tea he, he's he's not a violent dinosaur that's kind of what i, I was oh thinking. okay okay yeah he, he he's a you know fair weather guy and look gotcha. at this guy look at so <laughs> so when the mad penciler I, I knew you had something in there <laughs> the mad penciler uh sent me a picture of a robot a drawing of a robot and dinosaur and a few other things and i still like the robot so i said you know what i'm gonna bring in the robot into my drawing so this is uh bobby the robot of uh <laughs> forget the movie exactly ah i'm forgetting things right now lost in space is it lost in space is? is um some no no i think it's close um any case um and so so here he is he's flying okay he's flying there he goes flying across the screen uh, and <laughs> Is that's that that's that <laughs> the, uh, Robbie the robot that is Godzilla that's right but you gotta make that so he goes like this like doo -doo -doo. whatever noises the robot makes uh, beep, 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 beep. That's hilarious. and then there he goes the big old uh you you, you should have had that sound uh, up, yo, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right boom so there it is Godzilla and he's going after the robot because I like both. I like both ideas. I like the fact that, you know, um, there's uh, there's so many different kinds of robots. So many, oh, Forbidden Planet, says SLP Price. SLP, is the movie's called Forbidden Planet. Uh, and it's okay, Robbie okay. the robot. And so there's many different um, types of bodies, different types of robots. Um, the one robot that uh, the Matt Penciler sent me was... Um, from star wars mm -hmm. right and so and like that's cool it's um go ahead you can play around with your ipad now if you want we're sharing the 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 final artwork this is the final artwork and so there's it's like in star wars there's different types of robots medical robots uh, assassin robots um translating you know all types of different robots and uh and so that gives you room for creativity to come up with different things but when they but uh in so dinosaurs it's also the same thing is that you know what there's like um uh big di uh, different types of dinosaurs the the t-rex with the big mouth and little arms um and then you got the armadillo looking ones that are arm all four legs it's like and then the ones with the wings and the little things that f f uh, fly out the back of their necks mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah yes and so that's one thing to keep in mind when you're um looking at artwork and characters is that you know what i want to be able to have the the option to draw different types of the same kind of theme and that's what we have here yeah yeah that's right He's pleasant. He got he got his uh, I I uh, what do you call those uh, monocle? That's right. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, bacon business man. Can I vote for both? Yeah, uh, you can vote for one of them. 
Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let me go ahead and uh, switch this out. <laughs> Thank you, Annika. Um, uh, yes, uh, Monaco is, uh, is, the, is what that um, eye uh, glass is. And, uh, and so the Mad Pencil has got all kinds of uh, accents. Oh, and see the, the that's zooming in where you can get the detail on that teacup. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I zoom in a lot. Like all the time when I'm doing uh, digital work, uh -huh. it's just uh, you can get all that little detail. Like you said, you can get mechanical pencils for the traditional stuff, and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and and you can get some really good detail. Don't don't get me to line, but right. I mean that digital is something else, man. Make sure something you guys else. are voting for DTM. Go to <laughs> the link. <laughs> Hey, he, I, I told him if I win, I don't want him being mad and kicking me out. Like, <laughs> this, we, we fam, you know, it, it, and it is, it happens. You know, I, I, if I win, I just, it went, I win. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, vote, vote for the Mad Penciler. In there. <laughs> One cool thing, and this is, I don't know if you guys know this, we're in the same house. We're at my house right now. So, the Mad Penciler is sitting at one of my other workstations streaming setups. In the, in the room right next to this room where I'm in, and I'm in a separate room. And so, yeah, even if the Mad Penciler wins, I'm not going to kick him out. We cool. We cool people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this this is a great, great setup, man. Uh, I was telling you before it started, uh, you know, if, if we wouldn't have told them we were in uh, the same house, mm -hmm. you could have just thought I was in, uh, obviously, a different room, but just, you know, I'm at my house mm -hmm. streaming. Right. Or, or you know, we we just connected it, but it, it got the books in the background, and you know, the whole system. Y'all have to see this, Dan. Anyway, talk. <laughs> do what you're doing, man. <laughs> yes, I I have different rooms with different things, and uh, and that helps give a different atmosphere for when you're live in your background when you're streaming. So yes, thank you for that. The Mad Penciler. The link is up in the chat, and uh, I'm just going to zoom in to my guy right here. Boom. Yeah, how do this. I get rid of this layer, the layer uh, thing? There's uh, When you, when you uh, select that layer, there's an eyeball on the right-hand side, the second right. icon in the middle of the group, on the, the little group. Yeah, so yeah. Select that eyeball. So click on the eyeball, and then that layer goes away. No, not, not – oh. I don't want the layer to go. I want this whole uh, – what do you call this thing? A uh, tray with all the. Oh yeah, yeah. Top in. right, top right layer uh, icon. This is the uh, little layers icon. There it is. Boom. Look at that. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. You learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. The f f fresco is amazing. It's insane. I, I will say I do like it. Um, mm -hmm. I, I like it uh, probably a lot better than uh, honestly Procreate. Procreate is okay, and it's probably like the the um the the hot you know mm -hmm. ipad app that's out there but mm -hmm. uh, fresco is right up there man what you know as far mm -hmm. as what you can do and mm -hmm. if you are just into drawing i right. think this is right. this is a great app man great app and uh clever says on the top right the far top right if you click at those two arrows yep. you get a clean preview also all the way top right there. yeah uh-huh yeah, yeah, yeah like that uh-huh and uh fabio says there will be blood john wick style with pencils yes you know we, we, matt pencil and i known each other for a long long time and uh man it's uh it's always great to make friends with cool artists who love to draw and be creative and uh and that's what the matt pencil is is a really cool guy who likes to draw and share as you saw mm -hmm. from the little master class that he's had in here earlier. <laughs> All right, let's check on the voting and see where we at. Oh my gosh, is looking is looking really tight. Oh, it was pretty tight. It was uh Annika said it was seven to four. And the Mad Penciler, you gotta get somebody to vote for you, bro. Oh, uh, my people, they ain't doing that, man. <laughs> What's crazy is two weeks ago, Odari won, and mm -hmm. it was uh, 10 to 5 or something like that. And, uh, and man, it was uh, – I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. He's a good artist. He's a great artist. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, this is my show. <laughs> this 
how, how you winning on my show? <laughs> Annika says DTM leading with 13 points right now. Nice. Um, so, nice. Wayman, tell us about what is, where do you find inspiration for your art? Where do you get this uh, creativity to come through for you? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, a lot of it is old cartoons. Um, you know, just the slap, happy humor type Bugs Bunny mm -hmm. uh Tom and Jerry, all that silly stuff, man. Um, so even to, you know, to put the monocle in the teacup, it's mm -hmm. just silliness, honestly. Uh, but anything is inspiration, man. I, I love textures. I love brick textures and rust textures and, mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff is just, I, I love looking at, I love trying to duplicate it, you know, as far as when I'm drawing it to make it, you know, looking at both of the sketches here, I, I love that we can, you can almost just rub your hand across it mm -hmm. and feel, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I, I really like doing. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what inspires me to do stuff like this. Nice. Yeah. It's uh it's, it's really uh, uh cool to see things and then imagine, well, what would it look like if I tried to draw that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, what yeah, would I do real. different? How is that going to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aisha Sims is on the chat. Welcome, I, Ashia. Ashia Sims, sorry. Ashia Sims, welcome to the chat. Uma Korn in the house. And Steve says, I just voted, son. I voted for DTN, though. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, Christopher Williams says, amazing work, both of you. I, it was hard to just vote for one. We're going to check the poll results at the moment and uh yeah dtm has a very a big lead at this time uh a very so, substantial mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. it is kind of hard to deny it i figured it was going to be uh kind of uh you know one-sided because i came over here i should have stayed at my house and <laughs> There was problems we had trying to get all my stuff hooked up, and I was like, ah, I see where this is going. So, mm -hmm. nah, this is yes. it's just good fun, man. Yes, I, I always you know. it is good fun, and Ashia is good fun too. She says it's okay. I know you live with Aisha. Aisha that's right. Aisha is my wife. Ashia is <laughs> Wayman's better half. And so when I saw the words I, in my mind, my brain did the uh, the opposite of, of the of the way the pronounce the word but appreciate that and then my wife is also in the chat sent, uh, with the laugh emoji gary says it must have been the special effects that did it that's right uh abdul lassiz how are you doing today okay last couple of minutes for the stream uh if you we're gonna ask um uh the mad penciler one more question if you could go back in time and give some either art advice to the mad penciler at the time when he started his Instagram. Mm. Oh, mm. if you could go back in time and be in the same room with the Mad Penciler at, uh, of those days, and what kind of art advice would you give him? Hmm. And, and, and it's knowing what I know now? Yes, of course. Knowing what you know now. Correct. This current mark zucker no um <laughs> uh and i wouldn't i don't think i'd say anything at this moment uh i think you know young uh mad penciler I, I wouldn't have done anything different you know maybe uh a young wayman you know mm -hmm. right out of high school or something okay it, it would be a lot different but as what far would it as be? right at uh it's all right pick your spot it's okay draw draw a lot more um because i was not drawing nearly as much as i was now um mm -hmm. you know i and i could draw you know it was just like ah, i'll draw when i want to or whatever um and i think i would have went to art school earlier mm -hmm. you know uh but I, I think that's it just draw more and, and practice you know Draw more in practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. A lot, a lot more. A lot more. <laughs> right, not just more, but a lot more. Uh -huh. A lot more. Because why, why, why do you think that is important? Um, 
it's just you know that there, there are several of those types of um uh things it's like if you do something for 30 days or if you do mm-hmm. something for six months however long that mm-hmm. phrase is you know you you become better at it uh and then it it sticks to you 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 kind of get a habit of it so you know by doing it a lot mm-hmm. then it's just like all right it's like breathing like you know even though i'm tattooing now if i don't draw something or do something you know with my hand i've something ain't right it, mm-hmm. it feels weird if i'm not mm-hmm. doing some art something so mm-hmm. uh when, when i say do it more do it more to where it becomes like I, i'm not breathing you right. know uh, right. so and you just get better at whatever you you know lane you pick if it's oil painting or mm-hmm. you know sculpting whatever it is just do a lot of it um a lot do a lot of it because you'll get better thank you for that the mad penciler please follow the mad penciler aka wayman humphrey on the website waymanhumphrey.com and uh and follow his uh links to his instagram twitter and all that a lot of artwork on the mad penciler two d's on the word mad on instagram go ahead and check him out and get ready for our next battle our next battle is going to be in two weeks from now in uh, 3 p.m. on a Tuesday, and it's going to be DTM versus Robotic Pastries. Robotic pastries. Boom. Oh, yeah. A.K.A. <laughs> Lauren. A.K.A. Um, she has an, uh, another uh, name, too. Oh, I just forgot it. Um, um, but she, she is an amazing, talented artist, and she will be here. I don't know if she'll come to my house, but definitely in the ATL. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, The Mad Penciler. I appreciate all your time. Yes, yes, yes. And stay tuned for some more amazing art and artists on Behance. Make sure you have your Behance account and Behance portfolio. Until next time, I am DTN Delta Tango Mike. And this is DTN Versus. Peace out. Catching the flip side. <laughs>